Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going antique shopping. Thrift slash antique shopping. I just, I have an itch today. I just wanna go, I wanna see what they have. And I have to say, thrifting and antique shopping, vintage shopping, it's quite addictive. I feel like I try to take time off because sometimes I go too much. Like they say go often. Sometimes I think I go too often because it'll be a minute before I start seeing new stuff. Let's just go see what's out there. Let's go check out the antique stores. I will say, I feel like lately I have been super in tune with my style and it has made shopping a lot easier. I think I got a little confused there for a minute. I just was absorbing so much content and seeing so many different styles that it really did derail me a little bit. I think I feel re-inspired with the style that genuinely truly is me to my core. You might have noticed with some of my latest collages, I feel like she's back. <laughs> she's finding stuff that she loves and it feels effortless. So anyway, going off on a rant as always, we're going to go into call it new, call it antique, see what's new, see if we can find anything to add into the space. Wish me luck. We're going to go in here. We're going to see what they have. A couple of Crocs over here and I love this silver plate tr platter for $15.50 and then these crocs I don't know if I should go with the tan or the gray if I get them or both but super pretty to put like your uh, garlic in or you can even plant some stuff in here they just don't have a drainage hole maybe herbs would be cute in there I love them you guys know I have a few of these and I don't need any more but I don't think I have this size look at this pretty tea kettle Eleven fifty with the wood and the silver. That's pretty. I like that. Okay, this little wood box right here is so cute. Fifteen ninety five. That's really pretty. But look at this silver plate tray. I love this, but it's $27.95. It's quite small, but look at the feet. You guys know I love feet. I really like that. I think that's really beautiful. This is so pretty too. This antique handmade splinter basket for $34. This would be so pretty on like a coffee table. That's, so, I can't believe this is handmade. Amazing. That basket up there is only 23 such a good price for that actually i like it this massive painting is 120 that is such a great price for this and also this little guy is 650 i thought that was really cute too it's very like italian but this oil painting i believe it's oil i'm not sure is so good oh this is so good also another one this one's very like autumn toned this one's also 120. Oh my gosh, these are great. All right, I think I'm gonna start seeing these everywhere now. This one's $11.33. I'm loving these horn chips. They're just so sweet. I actually love both of these tiny little mini pitchers. This one's $10 and then this one's $6. I really like this clear glass one. It's hard to really show you. That's really cute. I love mixing materials. So seeing the pewter next to the glass, I just love it. I love the shape of these whiskey tasting glasses. They're $7 each, but I don't like the labeling. I want them to be completely free of labeling but the shape is beautiful also these old jam jars or jelly jars how cute i guess what i better start saving my jam jars could end up in an antique store i love that old wire basket for 18.95 love that i like this brass pheasant 49 dollars oh geez i don't want to drop it but I love it. It's very cute. One project I need to finish is that blanket chest, which I need knobs for it. There's 16 brass poles right here, brass knobs for $35. And they're actually really pretty. I was going to order the same ones as the other dresser that I did off Etsy, but I don't know. I might just get these. 
160 for this chair. I absolutely love this. I think it'd be so pretty in like a room or really anywhere. It's gorgeous. I love this table. It's 209 and this one too. This one's 149. I'd probably strip them to raw wood, but I love them. Okay, this pine chest little would be perfect for a side table for my friend's guest bedroom that I'm going to help her decorate. I'd probably want to strip it back even more raw, put a little basket in there, a lamp. Oh, so good for $95. $95. It's hard to see, but this chest is beautiful. It's $200. Oh, I love this. Oh, I'm finding such good stuff this trip. This would make the most perfect bar in a living room. It's kind of tall, but it's, oh my gosh, it's so good. It's $800 though, but the marble would be gorgeous. Okay, I was thinking about that frame up there and this one, hello, this one as well to paint with, but I found some other ones too. This one's $8. I was thinking about that one. There's lots of frames, but not exactly the ones I'm looking for. Home from the antique store, I got two things. I really didn't find much this trip. And I think it's because as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I feel like I feel revived, but so much so that I feel I'm a bit more picky again. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the couple things that I got. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to do a little bit of like a sit down Etsy shop with me, kind of like the other home decor shop with me as I do all the time here on the channel. But I wanted to show you these frames real fast because they're really, really good. First, I did get that little Italian print. When I went to go, when I went back to go look at it, I realized this is like a little sticker. So what I think I'm gonna do is try to peel that off if I can. Maybe I can like use like a blow dryer and warm it up somehow. Oh no, that's gonna come right off. Okay, so as you can see, that's gonna come right off. And then what I'm gonna do is gesso this and paint on this. So I'm super excited about that because I have some ideas for this. And then I also got this frame for a contemporary piece or like an abstract piece. So this is an eight by 10. I'm just gonna pop this linen mat out just because I don't think the mat will look that great with the more abstract piece. Maybe I'll save it in case it can go in another frame and do some sort of abstract with this wood frame. It has like a little bit of a gold hue to it. I think it's gonna look really good. So I'll be sure to share that with you once I get going on that, which might be right now, maybe. But that's it, that is all I got. Like I said, I really didn't find a ton and I've been a little bit more into finding some newer items to bring in. I think I go back and forth. I'm like all about vintage. And then I'm like, hey, too much vintage. I need to go to CB2 and <laughs> do a couple stores to help balance. And then I go back to the vintage and back to those stores. So I feel like that's where I'm at. However, I do want to hop on Etsy and see what home decor or what vintage items I can find on Etsy to share with you. Now we're gonna move on to Etsy. I go to Etsy whenever I am looking for just a, a specific piece that I want to find and I want to add to my home. Generally, I will see these like in a Pinterest post or home decor magazine, or even if I'm out shopping and I want to further look at the item and see if I can find like a better price, maybe look for it in better condition. That's when I'll go to Etsy. But most of the time when I'm looking for a specific item that I want to put in my home, recommend to a friend or client, whatever the case. And I find a lot of great things on Etsy. For example, when I was looking for the marble lamps that I actually ended up finding later on at an antique store, but before I could find them at the antique stores, I wanted one so bad and I just couldn't find one in my local area. I ordered one on Etsy and then of course I found a ton locally, but that is generally what I'll do. If I see a specific item, even sometimes in like, like a home tour, if there's something that I'm like, oh my gosh, I love that piece. I wanna add that to my home. It would look perfect in this space, then I'll go to Etsy to find that specific piece. So 
we're gonna pull up my Etsy account and I'm gonna share some items with you that I currently have saved in my Etsy that I wanna potentially add to our home. So let me go ahead and pull that up. Let's see here. So I have so much saved on my Etsy. And the reason why I like to do this too is because then Etsy will start referring similar items to me and I find that having that like curated saved items really does help like what's being shown to you. Right now in my Etsy, right off the bat, I have a few intaglios. Now I did hang the intaglio that I had on my desk in my bathroom that I got from Statuette but I found some other ones that I'm really, really loving, like the Coliseum on this um, intaglio right here. I love that the intaglio is thicker and the, excuse me, the frame is thicker and the intaglio is smaller. I just felt like that was like a little bit of a unique change and I thought, wow, I feel like I want another one to maybe, I might do like a little gallery situation right here and add that piece just for another shape. I love intaglios to add another shape to a gallery wall and it's just unique and different. So I have quite a few intaglios in here. I really want a vintage intaglio, but they're quite, they, or they can be quite, spendy so I'm still <laughs> holding off on that other items that I find on Etsy are things like these stone bowls I have quite a few of these I share them a ton and I always get questions about these so this is another example of these items that I'll kind of keep in my favorites so that I can share them but these little stone bowls can be hard to find however on Etsy I can find them and share them what else I have another stone bowl this one's like in a little bit of a different shape. I always try to see if I can find unique pieces like this stone bowl right here that's a little bit longer and dark and I try to find different textures and shapes to share and for myself, just keep myself inspired. Okay, I have quite a few of these vintage mortars. Some of them do have the pestle with them, but I want one of these so bad. I just, I can't stomach the expense right now. I just feel like once I renovate a kitchen, you know, kind of feel like I have a spot for it. I will absolutely invest in one of these. I just think that these add so much character and detail to a space that I feel like adds that collected charm. I want one of these. I want one of these so bad. So I'm constantly looking for these and adding them to my Etsy because they do end up selling. I just, I want one really bad. I should just get one and uh, hold on to it, but they are so expensive. You can buy new ones on Amazon. I've seen them on McGee and Co, but I kind of want a vintage one. What else do we have? in here. I have so many stone bowls, so many stone bowls. I also really love this large vintage glazed ceramic bowl. I really want one of these. I don't know. I feel like I am evolving. I do love honed or matte pottery and marble, but sometimes having that one glazed piece just really elevates and adds a different texture and adds some interest. I have a glazed pot on my coffee table that I really love the, the texture of because every Everything else is very matte. I have like some matte beads on the table. My table is like very, you know, flat and matte. So mixing in that different finish really helps elevate it. And something about this vintage bowl I think is just really beautiful. You could put this outside and maybe do some planted herbs in here or you could fill it with decorative, you know, balls or moss or all kinds of different things. You could also put fresh citrus or produce or apples, whatever. I think that this is such a pretty bowl and I'm finding that I've kind of talked about this in a past video. I'm finding myself being a little bit more like I'm evolving and finding more traditional pieces really complementary to my space and I don't know, it's just meshing really well together. Oh, this large vintage stone crock. I really want to find one of these out, you know, locally because this one's a little bit pricey, but I really love how tall and big this is. And I love exactly how they're using it is how I would, which is as a utensil holder. I feel like this is just such a charming utensil holder that just adds so much detail, so much age and warmth to the kitchen. I have like a, a metal one right now, but I love these stone crocs, especially if you mix it correctly, even in like a more modern or up-to-date kitchen. 
I love adding these patinaed pieces to a new kind of pristine space. Mm. So good. Also in here, there is a set of two vintage African wood bowls. And actually, set of two, this is a really good price for these. I love the handle, I love the shape. I would use these as a fruit bowl, as a centerpiece on a table, as a, just a piece on top of a tall, bookshelf if you have, or a piece of furniture, hutch. Just adding that little touch at the top I think is really, really beautiful. And these are a good price. I actually did not notice the price of these when I was saving. I don't know, I kinda like those. Those are really good. I have been wanting to find more of these marble trays that have the single handle. I absolutely love these. I have two of them. One of mine is a bit more like sharp in shape and then one is like a lot smoother, like it's been around for a long, long time. But I love these for coffee table, if you have like a really big coffee table, entryway table, fruit, even though they're flat, they're like, have a little bit of a divot so you can put some fruit in there. I've used these as charcuterie boards. I love these. I think that they add just a feeling of like the old world and so much detail and depth and I just, I wanna pull mine out again. But I have the, these in here because I always try to find, so if I'm sharing items in my home that are vintage and I get questions, I always try to find something to link you to. That's why I have a lot of this in here. We're gonna keep on moving on. I have another one in here. They are an investment, but oh, you will have it forever. They are just the most beautiful piece to add to so many different spaces of a home. I, I love them. I really love this this antique oil portrait. It's a splurge, but I just think that this, it just, I don't know, there's so much feeling in this piece of art. I just, I absolutely love this. I've always loved faces for the home. Like I have this with the face on it. I've shared those espresso cups that have the little face on it. I think it really elevates a space. And now I don't want, you know, too many or even like pictures. We filmed a video uh, antique shopping and I asked if you guys like like old pictures in your home. A lot of you were like, no, creepy, don't like that. But paintings I think are different. I feel like they add a separation. Like I feel like a picture feels so real and so like too close to home, if that makes sense. But a portrait, I feel like, or a painting, I feel it kind of separates the weirdness in a way. I don't know, maybe that's just in my head, but having, even like a sketch, I have a sketch of this woman back here that really reminds me of my aunt. It almost separates like, like a picture is like an actual, you're like, you're capturing that person. Even though you also are with the painting, it like separates it in a way. And to me, it doesn't feel so weird having it in my home. Maybe that's just me trying to make it okay in my mind, but I don't know. I really like this. I think it'd be super cool in like a very, you know, moody room or very masculine room. I feel like it's just such a cool oil painting or oil portrait. Oh, I found some of the best light fixtures. Okay. I have been super into, well, I love vintage lighting for sure. But lately I've been trying to add more contemporary pieces or even if it's vintage, if it has a little bit more of like that modern shape to it, a little more like mid-century, kind of different and it adds a little bit more sharpness to a space. I've been loving that. Like I love this jug lamp I have back here, but it's almost too much of the same, if that makes sense. Like I have this patina table and this jug patina lamp and like everything's patinaed. So I was thinking I really need to start adding in a little bit more modern, a little bit more sharpness, like a little bit more juxtaposition to what I have. Cause right now there's not a ton. It's kind of all of the same stuff. So, and I feel like that's just how it is when you're evolving in your home decor style, you'll start noticing like, okay, I think I've completed this collection. It's time to kind of push the envelope a little bit, like try to play a little bit more and have fun with the decor. So that's where I'm at with like my lighting. I was thinking there's two ways I wanna bring in a little bit more of that modern contemporary 
twist to my space and that's artwork. So I've been painting abstract and more modern or at least more sharp lighting. And what I mean by that is kind of just lighting that has a little bit more interest and a little bit more conversation to the piece other than just something like I feel like this lamp here, it almost falls a little flat in the space where I want the lighting to stand out a little bit more. So I found tons and tons of lighting like this gooseneck task light that would add so much more interest and it still feels so simple, but I've really been into uh, banker's lights. I think they're so cool and so pretty. I just, I love them. So I have quite a few of them in here and I'll put some on, on the screen, but also I'll make sure I link all of it down below. Oh, this double art deco chrome light, super cool. I think this just adds a level of decor that feels so much more thought out. It feels so much more designed and purposeful. So I've really been into some of these banker lights and wanting to add this to my space. This one's so beautiful. This vintage art deco banker style. I don't know if this is actually vintage. It's stunning. I love the kind of like milk glass dome top and then just the sweet silhouette of the bottom. Mm beautiful. I really love that one. I also really love patinaed terracotta. These French terracotta pots, I think that these are kind of smaller little pots. I just want these to just have a stack of them, but I think it'd be really pretty to put like little flowers in here. I've loved these for so long. I just haven't purchased them yet. I love them. I think that they add so much charm, especially to your outside spaces. I just, I think that they're beautiful. I'm always trying to find some beautiful vintage artwork on Etsy. I share them from time to time, but I do notice like you can kind of spend a lot on some of the artwork, but this beautiful antique painting of like this old chateau with the fountain in the front, this is stunning. I love that it's not, is this vintage? It doesn't, it says it's vintage, but I love that it has a little bit more of that like neutral coloring to it so that, or tones, because I feel like you could put this in any space of a home and add color, you know, with your pillows or your throw blankets, but keeping, I like to keep my art a little more subtle. Personally, that's just my style. And I just, I thought that this was stunning. I do also have these antique French binoculars. I just love these. I have been looking at these locally and on Etsy. I just think that these pieces, again, add so much charm to a space. You can put them on a stack of books. You can put them on a bookshelf but it feels much more collected rather than going to your local big box store and just getting you know what they have. Really fine tuning pieces like this could be really cool and you can get really specific with different things that you like to do and hobbies that you like to do in your life and really decorate that way. For example, I have some vintage paintbrushes over here that are mixed in with the paintbrushes I use. So finding those pieces that add your personality to your home but in a vintage way I think is so fun and I do that with multiple things like I have vintage glassware I do use those but in our bar and I found a vintage like cocktail set that has like the jigger and the stir spoon and all of that and I feel like it really does help your space feel just designed and like it has like purposeful and different than what you're gonna see everywhere else. I love this vintage desk lamp. I think that this is so cute. I just love the shape of it. It's actually really not a bad price. And let's check the shipping because that, like I said, that's sometimes what will get you. $39, not bad for shipping, but I just thought that this was so beautiful. You could put this on a kitchen counter. See, this is what happens is I will save a bunch of stuff on Etsy and then I kind of forget about it and I will go back to it whether I'm filming or whether I'm making a collage and then I want the pieces. <laughs> so I just thought that this lamp was so unique and different and I thought I think it would be stunning on a kitchen countertop, even an office, a bar, Super cool. Also, this um, French Colonial with the two, this is really cool too. The struggle I find with a lamp in my kitchen is we have a lot of counter space, but we don't. So I put one in there and then I take it out because it ends up taking up too much space. But if you have a lot of space, definitely put a lamp in your kitchen. I also have a ton of marble lamps on my Etsy account. As you know, I was looking for these. I found them. I did also buy one from Etsy 
Etsy, but I feel like I, I don't know. It's kind of like when you find, I do this with mo like multiple different pieces in my home, clay pots. It's kind of like, I can't stop it. Just one. I want more and they're just different. They have different veining and different detail and different shapes to them. So I love these and I have quite a few of them saved on my Etsy account. <laughs> also, I have these knife rests. I have so many different ones saved here on my Etsy because there's just so many good ones. But I think that these are such a cute little piece to add to a tablescape. My friend Diana actually puts these on her tablescape and I think that's so cute. But the two that really caught my attention, of course, are the lions because I love lions and the swans. There's also quite a few other ones that I have here on my Etsy account. But the swans, oh, and the hound dogs or the weenie dogs. <laughs> Those are cute too. There's so many good ones, but I just feel like these would add another little quirky element to your tablescape that just make it feel a little bit more fun and thought out and just really, I don't know. I, I'm super into lately trying to find unique pieces to add to my home because I feel like we get to a point where we have, you know, all the main pieces, the furniture, the lighting, the this and that. And I think that's where you can kind of get fun and add a few little pieces. Now, I don't love too many like cutesy or trinkets. However, lately I've been finding myself looking at a, a few more trinkets. So I'm like, okay, what is happening? But sometimes it's fun to have fun with your home decor and your tablescapes and you know, the designs that you're doing. Also here on Etsy, I have some beautiful handmade pottery. I always like to look on Etsy because I feel like you can find exactly what you're looking for when it comes to especially pottery. So I have quite a few things saved for hopefully future projects. Lots of clay pots, lots of vases, lots of stuff going on. Okay, I also real quick want to talk about this art piece. Again, art can be such a splurge, but boy, does it add so much charm to your home. This is such a beautiful, it says it's small, but it's a beautiful landscape with ducks and the water and the trees. It's just absolutely stunning with the thick gold ornate frame. Mm, so good. Two last pieces that I'm gonna mention in today's video. One is this black soapstone bowl that comes to a point. I wanted to mention this one because I feel like the black is much different than what I normally see. Normally you see like the gray or the brown, but I thought the black was super cool. I personally love to add black to my home. I feel like it adds this like depth to a space that just really helps ground the space, whatever you're working on and black looks amazing on wood. Had to mention these and actually they're quite an affordable price for what they are. Let's see about the shipping. $9 for shipping, not bad. They're on sale right now for $36.80. So I love these. I haven't purchased one yet, but I probably should before I share this video or I'm not gonna get one. <laughs> and then the last item are these iron taper candle holders. Now, I don't know if these are vintage. I love the shape of these. They feel just different. They feel like they have some shape to them. They feel like they were made by an artist and that's what I really loved about these. They would add so much interest to a space and something that's visually, just something that's beautiful to look at and, and you know, I feel like a lot of the times, maybe it's just me, but when you see unique items like this, it almost stops you in your tracks because I feel like oftentimes, at least for me specifically, if I go to a home that I've seen over and over again, because it's, you know, stuff that I have seen out at my big box stores, you almost just walk right past it. But pieces like this will literally stop me in my tracks because they're unique. They're different. I want to know where they got them. I want to know what they are. So I love trying to find pieces like this, even if it's as simple as a taper candle holder. All right, I think I'm gonna stop there because these videos can get quite long. However, let me know how you liked this, you know, vintage slash slash Etsy shop with me and I'll be sure to do more in the future. Let me know which item was your favorite. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in a couple days with another. Bye. I would say we were good together